Okay, this is the System 100. In order to show you the features of this, we're just gonna run through the programming menu on it and explain those as we go through. Right now we have the unit in the on state. We're gonna hold the System on off button until we get to the off state. Unit's off. I'm gonna hold the enter button to get into the programming menu. Light, reset, down, enter, gets us into the programming menu. Here it's asking if we want to reset our code. Battery charger on off. Door heater. This is uh, turning the door heater on and off. This uh, one signifies on, zero signifies off. One, this is the door heater start temperature. Once it gets to this temperature, it'll turn the heater on. This is the disengage temperature for the door heater wire. Once the door frame gets up to this temperature, it will turn the heater wire off. 350p. Our door heater wire uh, is controlled by this monitor and it runs in a four minute cycle. Uh, it's based on a percentage of time of that four minute cycle. So at 50p, 50%, we're gonna run for two minutes, we'll be off for two minutes, on for two minutes, off for two minutes. And that's the way this operates and controls the door heater wire. It saves about 120 bucks per door per year. Alarm high, 90 degrees. Uh, any temperature condition higher than whatever this is set to, this is high because it's not an active refrigerated compartment. Uh, on a cooler, this would be around 40 degrees, we want this set. Uh, minus 10 freezer, we'd probably set it around zero degrees. Um, alarm high can be set to whatever the user desires. Alarm low, same deal. Uh, here, 32, if it gets to 32 in a cooler, it would freeze the product. So we've got this set at 32 to mimic that. Uh, but again, can be set wherever the user desires. Alarm time delay, avoid uh, false alarms, temperature conditions where the probe is next to the door in a high traffic area, in and out. We don't want that in and out to be read as a, an actual failure of the compartment or refrigeration, uh, rather a, a alarm condition. So this current configuration will wait 30, let's say 30 minutes before it will actually alarm and alert the user there's a temperature condition they need to look into. Light delay by mandate, you have to have something in the compartment to turn the lights off or control the lights with activity people in the unit, the lights on, nobody in the unit, the lights need to be off. Uh, so this is turn the lights on and off after a pre-described amount of time. So 15 minutes, the lights will go off. You can also set this to the infinity mode where it will just stay on, on and off like a normal light switch, no time delay off. And that is the System 100 programming menu.